guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to film something different I decided to film my current favorites I'm not gonna say it's my May favorites just because I don't think I haven't tried a lot of products this month so actually a couple of them that are new are in this video which I'm super excited to show you guys so let's get started so the first product that I wanted to show you I'm gonna start off with the foundations I'm super excited because both of the foundations that I'll be showing you guys are both drugstore which is awesome just because um, they're a little bit more inexpensive so the first one it has to be the wet and wild photo focus foundation I've been loving this foundation it's my for my perfect shade the only thing that I don't like about this foundation is that the color range is super small I think they have like five or six colors which is not a lot but I'm super excited because I found my color which is kind of difficult and more if it's drugstore just because I'm super yellow and I have a lot of um, olive undertones which is which makes it a little bit more difficult to find my correct shade just in one color. So if you wanted to know, my color is golden beige in the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I love it so much. So the second foundation that I wanted to show you, it's actually the Matte and Poreless, the Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline. I discovered this, I think it's been like a week, a week or something ago, not that long time, but I decided to um, include it on this video just because I fell in love. I currently, I'm, I'm currently wearing it today and I love it. It claims to be matte, but I don't feel that it's too over drying on my face. I'm super excited because I found out that they just launched more colors like the color range for this foundation expanded a lot which is awesome because i went to ulta i think it was last week when i bought this foundation and i saw that they had like 10 or even a little bit more of colors and then i found out that they have new ones which is awesome because usually drugstore they don't they don't carry a lot of color ranges so this is kind of awesome that they decided to launch this and i just found out about it i don't think if i think this foundation has been on the market for a while now but i love it so much you definitely have to try it because it's it's really worth it and it's so inexpensive so go ahead and try it and let me know <laughs> So the next product that I wanted to show you, it's actually drugstore as well. It's the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. It looks like this. It's so beautiful. I do have it on today too. I'm using the banana shade just because I love using banana shades for my under eye. And then I always like to like mix in all the brown shades for like my contour area. I usually use like the dark the darker brown to start my contour and then blend all the other three shades together to bronze off my face. I love it. It's really inexpensive for like the quality and quantity of products. The one that I love was the one from Anastasia, which is actually like 30 or $40. And this is just half of the price and it actually brings more shades because the Anastasia one brings only six shades and this one has, has eight shades. So you get more shades for a lower price the quality is really good. It's from NYX Cosmetics. You definitely have to try it out. It's been on the market for a while now, but I've never, like, I've never, I never was interested in trying it, but I went in stores and I decided to buy it and I haven't stopped wearing it. I love it so much. Okay, guys, so the next product that I'll be showing you guys, it's from the brand Smashbox. This is the Photo Finish Primer Water. I love this so much. It actually substitutes the one that I claimed to love for so long and I used to use a lot of the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I love this one so much but this one is so much better. It's a little bit more pricey but it's really worth it. I love applying like four or five splashes before doing my makeup and once I'm done just because I do use a lot of um, powder. I don't like to look like that powdery finish. I hate it. So once I'm done, I splash like one or two of this um, primer water and the makeup looks flawless. It lasts all day and I really do recommend this one. So this is an oldie but a goodie but I decided to include it here. This is the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. I haven't used this brush for so long but for the last like for the past month I haven't stopped using this brush. I usually use it with the photo, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, just with liquid ones. I don't like using this for like cream foundations. Usually I'll use the Beauty Blender. Um, I forgot how good it was and I'm so excited that I took it out of the drawer and I haven't stopped using it. As you can see it's super dirty just because I did use it for this video. <laughs> but 
I love it. I do recommend this one. It's the Sigma Flat Kabuki Brush. Alrighty, to wrap up this video, I wanted to include both of these things. I've been using it non-stop. So the Skin Purifying one, I don't use it every day. I think I use it like every two weeks just because since it's purifying, it tends to break me out a little bit more compared to the other one. But I recommend it just because it's so inexpensive. They sell it at Ulta, but I found this one's at TJ Maxx for $1.49 which I'm so excited because usually in Ulta, the regular price is like $4, which is not expensive at all, but hello, $1.49, I think it's super good. I also love this one. This is just, this is like the number one, like my favorite, favorite one. It's the brightening one, the Unreal from the same brand. I love this one so much. I usually just put it on my face. You're supposed to leave it like for 20 or 30 minutes. Usually I leave it on for a little bit more and then the next day my skin looks so beautiful. I recommend using this one first. Just be careful using the purifying one. You're not supposed to do this like every week. I would recommend using it like twice like one every two weeks because it tends to break up. Okay guys, so the last product that I'll be showing you guys, it's from the brand First A Beauty. This is the Coconut Skin Smoothing Primer Moisturizer. I love this. I love this product just because you can actually skip a step, but it's actually included in one because it primes your skin and it moisturizes it as well which is awesome because I'm actually I'm always in a hurry in the morning time when I do my makeup so skipping a step but it's actually included it's it makes my life easier so <laughs> I recommend this one it's very moisturizing and hydrating on your face and it makes my foundation apply super smooth I love it I love it so so much I really don't like the scent of it just because I hate coconut scents but once you apply your foundation and the powders it wears off you're not gonna be able to smell it so yeah it's very important to be hydrating now that it's summertime and yeah it makes my makeup look so so beautiful and it holds it on like for the whole day I recommend it and yeah I've been using it non-stop which is awesome it's safe for sensitive skin so if you tend to break out um, you should definitely try this product just because it's made for sensitive skin so usually those type of products won't um, break out your skin so just letting you guys know okay guys so those are all my current favorites I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for coming back I left all my social media down below and I'll see you on my next one bye guys